Guys, I was not happy the way Joe Flacco played the other day. Okay. This situation, and look, I wanted to, you know, evaluate the quarterback position and with these backups and what they can do. When Joe Flacco came in, was I a big fan of it? No, but I said, you know what? As a backup, it's not bad. He could take over maybe a game or two if something does happen. And, you know, I can't trust him with the whole season, but at least there was some type of promise. Nick Mullins comes in and literally, you know, a veteran arm that really has had some starts in the NFL, but hasn't had the best of luck. Okay, not a great football player, but someone that can give our guys good looks. That's what I thought. But to kind of get on the verge of, you know, uh, of Joe Flacco, I mean, a good game against the Steelers, but, I mean, you can't champion him because of a good screen pass. He threw a screen pass. Quez Watkins did all the work on that screen pass, obviously. Obviously, getting that ball off to the to the wide receiver is obviously the first point of attack of that play, and then Quez Watkins does the rest of it. But when it comes to Joe Flacco in this game, and I've already known this for a while, like Joe Flacco literally – needs every he's he, he's he, he's a quarterback that needs everything perfect in your offense and I'm talking you need an offensive line for Joe Flacco so taking out the offensive line was just a bad just bad game plan okay um it, it makes no absolutely no sense I mean if Hertz was in there with no offensive line I mean I'd probably he'd be running for his life but obviously I know he'll be able to get some throws off I know he could run so I think there's more of a chance, obviously, with Jalen Hurts. But with Joe Flacco, is like another Sam Bradford out there. I mean, he just can't move in the pocket. Like, he sits there, and, like, he'll try to move, but he's got no mobility whatsoever. You got to have an offensive line. You got to have at least somebody out there to protect them. And the Eagles didn't have anybody. It was between, what, you know, Nate Herbig and, you know, a second stringer and a, and a few third stringers, whatever it was, out there with Toth and Matt Pryor and some of these other guys. So I'm not happy about it. I don't think Flacco is good. I think he's got to be in a perfect situation, and he'll thrive from it. And when he has time to throw, when Flacco has time to throw, the guy could throw. Okay, don't get me wrong. But see, when he was getting pressured, he got worse over time because then he was like, I got to get the ball out as fast as I possibly can. And it just got worse after that. So I'm not saying that he's a bad quarterback. I think he's a quality backup, but really, obviously, th th it was treat this is a preseason game, and it was treated like one. I mean, you benched your whole offensive line, and you know, it seemed Flacco was going to sit in there and throw and sit back there for for ten hours, and it's not going to happen that way. Not happy with Nick Mullins either. Uh, I'm really not. Um, you know, throwing picks nonstop. I mean, making mistakes. Another guy that stands in the pocket for way too long contemplates on whether he needs to move or needs to just throw the ball. And I feel like he just stutter steps way too much in that pocket. Okay, then loses the ball, then picks it up. I mean, you got to be smarter than that. Joe Flacco wasn't smart either. You know, if Nate, if Nate Herbig is at center and he puts the ball over your head and you got to run 15 yards to go grab it and you pick it up and still try to set your feet to make a throw or whatever you're trying to do, it, I don't know what you're doing there. It makes absolutely no sense. Like, jump on the ball. Like, that saves us, uh, you know, them from scoring a touchdown on us from the beginning of the game. And you just got back up and, you know, you tried to, like, one-hand it and still, I don't know what you were doing. And you threw, and the guy got his arms around you and, and that was it. So, I really don't get it. I mean, Flacco, I'm, I'm not a big fan. I haven't been a big fan of him since he got here. I really haven't been at, for a backup. But we had to sign a veteran regardless, okay? The Eagles weren't trading for Nick Foles. The Eagles didn't even want Nick Foles this year. And the Bears tried to, to trade him to, for, to us. They offered us. They offered him to us, and we didn't take it. Obviously, we want to move on. So, I'm not happy with the backup quarterback position. I'm really not. I mean, during the season, it'll probably be different because you're going to have your starting offensive line out there. If they're hurt or injured, I don't know what's going But at least you'll have some starters out there. So, I feel better at Flacco being out there, but... Treated in a preseason game, taking out your whole offensive line and just leaving Flacco out there like that. As much as he played bad, I mean, he's just going to play worse if the protection's not there. And if he can't throw, his receivers aren't going to look good. So it's hand in hand in all phases of the offense when it comes to positions. So, you know what? It is what it is. 
I mean, I don't know what they're going to do next week. Obviously, Flacco's going to play next week, but don't know if they're playing starters. At this point, I don't know if they're going to. I think they're going to arrest guys for the next three weeks. And obviously, they're going to have they're going to have joint practices again. Joint practices again with the Jets next week. And... um or whatever they're doing. I thought that he said that we were practicing with them next week, whatever it was. So he's going to treat those as games, and he's not going to play them during preseason. That's why he didn't do it this for the Patriots game. We practiced. We had really strong joint practices, and he felt like, you know, the guys were a little sore, and, you know, he had to keep them out of the game. So that's what he did. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think about the Joe Flacco situation, him as a backup quarterback. What do you think he needs in an offense to be successful? And, you know, did Nick Sirianni do right? I know I did a video on, on Nick Sirianni and, and all that happened the other day. Um, but, yeah, this is what I thought I think about Joe Flacco and in this quarterback room in general besides Jalen Hurts, obviously. So, other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.